Oh, there's a scorpion down there. Well, it's only a little lowly scorpion, right? What what could a possibly a scorpion do to us? Yeah, you a big man, huh? Scorpion? It was at this moment that he knew. He f yeah, all right, everybody, it's time for us to return to that also wholesome content you're all accustomed to. Today on the agenda, we have a little banger by the name of Haley's Treasure Adventure. Now, isn't that just a very joyful title? Treasure Adventure. I love adventures. As a matter of fact, Grandia 1, one of my favorite RPGs of all time because it's just Justin on an adventure. And here we have Haley going on a treasure adventure. Now, I'm curious though, what uh, what triggered this uh, treasure adventure? Ah, oh, two beautiful young ladies. So which one of you is my bride? Excuse me? Who the hell are you? What are you talking about? Well, your dad lost all his money in my casino. I can marry any one of his daughters. Oh. Um. That's where you're going to adventure. Oh. Nice. Haley's degenerate gambling father's habits aside, we gotta help her out. So the first mine we gotta go through is apparently the dust mine one. This is the closest mine to your location. It's not that deep, so you should be able to find the key very easily. We also apparently have an upgrade system, pickaxe power, max HP, strain body, bomb capacity, health boosters. We will find our first key here. It should be easy. We need to collect some gold or gems while we're down here. The green bar indicates how much we need. <laughs> little nice little slide there. It sounds like she's like uh, going, what? Oh, you're gonna be an entire tutorial, are you? This rock contains some valuables we can extract them by using my pickaxe. Press J to break it. It sounds like you're like a car screeching to a halt. <laughs> right? Is it just me? Okay, let's see what we got here. By the way, ooh, we got some nice gold there. You can stop me every single moment. Looks like we need to grab the ledge up there. Press space to jump and WS to climb. Okay, look. It's not my first video game, Haley, but I appreciate you trying to help out. As I am trying to help you. Maybe not get married to this man who seems very devious in nature. I don't like to judge people based on first impressions, but that guy had no eyes and normally that's a very bad thing in animes. Oh, I almost forgot. Annie's helping us with her drone. Press Q to have a larger field view. Oh. Very impressive. What's up with this? This boulder can't be broken by this pickaxe. We need explosives. Wait, Annie just... Annie just told me her drone has found dynamite at the bottom of the mines. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't see any. But I guess we'll just believe um, Annie, her sister here. She does have this magical drone that gives us an amazing zoom-out ability. So hey, she must know what she's talking about. Now, one thing I would love for this to have, like, gamepad support right now, it's all the keyboard and mouse, so... It's, it works out fine, but again, it's like a platforming game, so I prefer that nice little gamepad. So we picked up Dynamite, which we'll use here. Let's destroy that damn boulder. Wow. Haley, language. Zoom out feature to be safe while we look at the explosion. Wow. There it is, our very first step to the magic lamp. <laughs> magic lamp? I guess we're looking to uh, get the genie to grant us a couple of wishes. Give us enough money to pay off this debt and not marry that no-eyed villain. Oh, look at that. Nice little hop. Get our peace sign and everything good. So, so far, what a very easy game, huh? Absolutely no dangers at all. You just go in there, you look for treasure, you come out. Nothing could possibly go wrong in this game is what I'm thinking. Why you always lying? Uh-oh. That's an enemy there. A worm? It should be easy to kill. Defending the enemy awards a token. It can be used to purchase additional content. Though it is easy to kill, just don't step on it. Its poison will hurt you. Well, this is true, but I'm curious. It is a wholesome game after all. Let us see what happens. Um, it turns out this worm, as, you know, danger-free as it might appear to you on first glance, He's quite an adequate foe, is all I'll say. Quite an adequate foe indeed. So we must make sure that he does not poison us to begin with. It's a highly acidic poison that apparently even has an effect on our armor and equipment, is what I'll say. And then puts in a very precarious situation. Well, well, 
Well, let's just say it's it's not a good time for Haley. So we must be careful with that worm. That seems to lead us back up. So I think that's going to probably circle back to that door that we saw. So at least for now, we got to keep going down. Pick a ladder, or a ladder, ladder, pick a rope. I guess I'll pick this one right here. We'll get on through here and see. More bats. I don't think the bats have any sort of, um, you know. Um, Demiocene, in case you're wondering. So for now, it's just the one. We'll try to pick out all of them as we progress, obviously. Ah, chest. So we got what we came for. But again, we also want to fill out the green bar, do we not? No dangers down there? Let's go. Our gold bar, at least our green bar, is about to fill up. So level two, no problems this far. Now, it did show that it's apparently eight levels. I'm not sure that's completely the case, or there's more that opens up afterwards. This is still, again, just in development, mind you, so it's not complete just yet. It's far from completion. I believe it's only like version 0.2 or something. So very early in development. But we're definitely going to cover the account that's available, at least for now. So we're completely filled up. We got our key, and this will let us out. Oh, yeah, no, no kidding, Haley. We're at 97.50 at the moment. We could increase the power from a pickaxe or 25. Strengthen body as well. Bomb capacity. Let's do a little bit more power to our pickaxe for sure. And more bombs to carry, sure. And we'll buy maybe even 15. Is that our cap, 15? Would be nice if it told you how much you could carry. Oh, we can carry up to 20. There it is. So we can carry up to 20. We'll definitely do that. And let's do one for strain body. Why not? This one's not going to be easy. It's pitch dark down here. Even with my headlight, visibility will be limited. Be careful. My enemies are not bugs and rodents anymore. Plus, there's traps in this one. Ooh. There's an artifact lying somewhere in the mine. We should try to collect it. Collecting all 10 unlocks an alternate skin for me. Hmm. At least we have a really cool little light effect now. Okay, worm. I'm going to squish you. Ooh, it's nice. So now it only takes one swing to take you rid of at least the the gray one of those minerals. Probably takes longer for the gold. Two. Okay, nice. I like that. Apparently make this jump. <gasps> you you weren't kidding about the enemies other than um worms and rodents. Now I'm curious, that's all he is. Skeleton boner, right? There's nothing a skeleton boner could do to us, correct? Let's find out. He's a he's a bad dude. He's a very bad dude. Um, let me toss a bomb at him. That's the end of that boner, my friend. <laughs> oh, there's definitely a joke there. Okay, so let's see. That's out of the way. Let's uh, go on down now and see if this is the only new creature. Now, in the achievements list, I have seen apparently uh, goblins. The, the achievement is to slay a certain amount of goblins, in case you're wondering. So, I'm, you know me, I'm big goblin boy, so I would eventually like to get to this level with the old goblins. Right now, we're, I'm not sure how far we are from them. Although, as goblins, it sounds like more dangerous. Ooh, I thought I heard a noise down there. So, we need to drop and probably crouch. How do I crouch? Let's see. Gotcha. Okay. So do the thing, do the thing, crouch, all right, just move it this way, perfect, I don't think crouching is going to get us through here, is there an even, oh, further crouch, you can still kind of attack this way too, huh, all right, oop, yep, there are traps, uh, I'm not sure if I'm liking the amount of space we have to deal with here, so you know what, let's just get rid of you that way, huh, Oof, I almost jumped because of the trap, but uh, that's going to be intriguing. we got to jump and attack, huh? Close. Very close. As a matter of fact, I would say the hitbox, for once, in a game, the hitbox worked in my favor. Mm, not sure what you're dropping into and it worries me. So let's do that. Could you... yes. No dangers? Well, just in case, we'll use this little ledge right here. Two of those. I definitely want to get the upgraded. Oh, we have to bomb for you. I'm going to upgrade the pickaxe more, not only for attack power, just mainly so I have to worry too much about taking so long, um, taking down minerals. All right, sis, you wouldn't believe the monsters down there. There's apparently skeleton boners walking around. It's the most terrifying thing. Let's see what this level looks like. 
ruins. I wonder if this is where we would probably see our very first uh, Goblino in action. Yeah, so there was a rope there indeed. No, oof. What am I looking at here? What's below a zoom out falcon, right? Okay. Go and let's just do. Can I go into Groucho from here? Perp. We should be fine. There is a big bag of gold. Need to get this bat out of the way. Okay. I feel like I should take care of you now just because if I don't, you're going to be a problem later. Just feels that way, you know? Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, because I know when I'm coming back, I'll forget about him and I'll run right into him and be like, damn it. Oh, so this is probably why we need the bombs, huh? And there's a switch back there, too. Now, do I have to worry about the the angle of these bombs? You know what? Just crouch just to be on the safe side, I suppose. Perfect. Some more money. A switch. Don't know what that's going to open up to because we can't zoom out enough for that, unfortunately, but... Spikes. Somehow feel like... That was a terrible jump. Somehow feel like I'm walking into a trap here. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. And I think that right there, that spike jump, was the very first piece of damage that I didn't purposely take, obviously. So our no-hit run finally has come to an end. I don't like this situation at all. So here's what we do. We bomb Boyne the right. And then we can take care of this guy fairly easily, I would say. Three strikes. As a matter of fact, when we landed, it didn't seem like we actually triggered either one of them, right? Oh, what up? We got plenty of bombs. We're going off this way. Mm. So we're gonna need to hit the switch down there to open that up. That'll be our chest. Do we have the dynamite? We don't have the dynamite. So the diamond's gonna probably be off to the right somewhere. Or even below. This is a lot bigger of a station than I thought it would be. Now there's a boner down there. In a pit by himself. He's basically welcoming me down there to go and get that stash of money, huh? That's what you're doing? You're welcoming me down there? Okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'm not fine. I'm not finding you mano a mano in a little small pit. No, sir. Yes. Gives you enough time to do it. I kind of got stuck in that rope there for a bit too. It's like I had to jump, jump. Okay, so we're done. Perfect. Okay, so let's find out if we have enough um, enemy tokens now to unlock different skins for ourselves. Here we got Mari. Oh, you know what? That's probably the sister then, huh? We have Tome Explorer. Oh, we have enough. So yeah, yeah. We could also do a. Uh, Oh, it's not implemented yet. yet. Mm. So it's either Tome Explorer, which I have to imagine you probably would look like Lara Croft or something. You have to, right? And Mari would be the sister. Congratulations to you unlocking your skin. Yeah, I guess it's it's Lara Croftish to some degree, sure. Okay, so now that the ruins are complete, we have the pyramids. Pyramid one. Ah, diamonds. A few scorpions and acid water can't stop me. Just need to keep your eye on the ceiling. I heard a rumor that there is a hidden pan leading to a sack of gold. So I wonder if that's something that we could visibly see here. Like maybe here, perhaps? Seems kind of hiddenish, kind of in a way. Or if it's literally talking about like something like into the walls that you have to break open. Um, but we do have enough for an upgrade to our pickaxe, so we'll definitely take that. And uh, I think I'm going to save up for another straightened body. Now, it talked about scorpions, so we probably have a new enemy type here. What I'm curious about is, um, well, goblins. It feels like we're not going to see goblins here. If he's just talking about the scorpions. Although, you know, they could probably add them in there as well. Who knows? Ooh, nice. Just one swing now. Well, let's see about this possibility. Oh, yeah, that's a love it. Just one swing. Oh, there's a scorpion down there. Well, it's only a little lowly scorpion, right? What, what could a possibly a scorpion do to us? Yeah, you a big man, huh? Scorpion? It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> well, hello. Uh, it, it turns out the uh, scorpion is actually uh, quite an adequate foe, as a matter of fact. One that I don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with, to be fair with you. Because um, he's capable of one-hit demises. So... I'm just going to throw a bomb at these dudes. They're terrifying. They lunge at you and they instantly uh, do their scorpion-like things at you, which is terrifying. Terrifying. Ooh, we got diamonds. I did say diamonds. Yo, we're strong enough now to break down everything, even the diamond ones? Perfect. 
So I do wonder if we could probably take down these Skeletors now with one hit. We were doing it in three, correct? Maybe two to start off with and then maybe one. Uh, that seems to be acidic. I don't trust it. It's not even moving at all. So yeah, yeah, I gotta be careful. I'm not sure if falling in the, you know, a pit of acid is gonna be instant death in this game. I'd imagine in real life it would be, you know, you, you fall into acid, then uh, you're not much surviving that. As your body disintegrates. But um, here, maybe because we have a health bar, they'll be a little bit lenient. Now, it did say a sack of gold. There's a sack of gold right there. Where I thought a hidden pad would be originally. It doesn't seem so hidden to me, though, you know? The wording is kind of throwing me off. Come here, worm boy. You got Skeletor over there. Oh, he's supposed to be guarding the uh, the hidden pad? Oh. Oh, look at that scorpion in the ceiling. How devious. How absolutely devious of... Get over here, bad man. Okay, so here we got... Scorpion at the top, and then Skeleton to the left. Luckily, two strikes is enough for the... The, um, Skeletor. What worries me, though, is getting the... Well, the, the Scorpion down below without him lunging at us immediately, which I imagine was gonna do. There's still one more level below as well. I mean, we've already got enough gold for the stage. But again, more extras will let us get more power up, so that's fine. I don't know how he's going to trigger. Is he just going to land down? Is he going to lunge at me? Okay, he's going to... Oh, we got him. Now, there is no artifact here. Now we're just looking for Boulder to blow up, and that's going to be the chest. Is that perfect? So we're technically done. Okay, Mari. So the pyramid is definitely a lot more difficult now with those scorpions out there. So we're back up to 29, so 21 more medals will get us the next unlock, which for that one, I guess I'll probably then pick up Dimari unlockable. Um, and for now, we got... what? Oh, another artifact here for this one. Are we just back to the mines now? I'm curious if there's anything special here. So now we're back to the dust mine 3. Spiders this time around. These creepy crawlers jump on you from a distance, which is very similar to what the scorpions were doing to us that being said though we are out of time i'm gonna wrap it up here for this one hopefully you guys have enjoyed this completely wholesome adventure from Haley thus far there's a couple more missions to do as i mentioned there's also apparently goblins so i have to imagine we're kind of getting near that and there might be more than the three stages we see here because there is an arrow here after us so there is that if you'd like to see some more you guys let me know I'll definitely come back and do some more if you want to see the uh director's cuts so to say well there's a completely wholesome Patreon channel by yours truly. You'll find it on the description down below. Check it out over there along with a bunch of other wholesome goodies. I'll catch you guys next time.